boop and welcome to the Back of Jamie Show. I have a review on a product, and it's this hairbrush, and it's the one with these, these like terry cloth fibers. And these fibers are kind of like a towel material, and they're supposed to get your hair dry quicker when you dry it. I believe it does work, but the downside to this hairbrush. The bristles hurt your head when you brush it. They're a little too stiff and hard. The brush feels kind of light and cheap, like it could break really easy. It's a goodie hair brush, and it's the quick fix this one. That's what hair brush is called. It's a $12 hair brush. For $12, I don't think it's something I would have purchased because. I don't find I don't really like goodie hair brushes. I always go for Conair, and I don't really like to brush my hair with it. When it's it's not a good hair brush to brush your hair when you sweat because it kind of breaks your hair. I think it feels like it's yanking on your hair too much. It's too harsh on your hair. I have been using it. I'll admit I you I will probably keep using this hair brush because because I got it for free. I didn't pay for this. I got it free from the box box from Influencer. This is not something I would recommend purchasing. I really, as far as a brush, prefer my cheaper pink. Um, it's not so easy on hand to grab. But it's a pink paddle brush and it's from Conair. And it's got more softer, more giving um, bristles, so it doesn't pull and break my hair as much as this one. I find I'm losing too much hair out of the, this brush because it's ripping my hair out. It does get your hair brushed out and get the tangles out, but at the same time, it's ripping your hair out, and I don't like that. But other than that, if you want a brush that will get your hair dry faster and you don't really have snarly hair, really, if you don't have really sensitive, it kind of feels like it's scraping and ripping on your scalp. And I don't like that. Yeah. They're too stiff for bristles. They don't like give and move. They don't give and move. They give you the movement. So it's kind of they don't they don't like squish down or nothing, so they're really, really hard. Like stiff. This brush to me was a fail. And there, I give it a C. As far as getting your hair brushed out really good, I'll give it that. As far as helping you dry your hair quicker, I'll give it that. But you're really not supposed to br use a brush on wet hairs, which, which I really don't. I say I do because of my thickness of my hair. But I have a comb that I really like to use too. I, re you're so, I really, I like really what's better and safer for your hair is a thick, wide tooth comb. So. I say this is only a C product for the money, but I think if you don't have really tangly, if your hair doesn't get really tangly and your hair is not really thick, this brush might work better for you, your type of hair. For my thick coarse type of hair that I have on my head, it's a fail for. But, I just wanted to let you know what I think of it. So, I feel it would work better for, for people with more um, fire hair and somebody who doesn't have it's coarse, it's coarse of hair. Somebody who doesn't have coarse hair, this might work better for them. But because I have coarse hair, I don't feel it worked good for, m good for my hair type. So, thank you for watching. Peace out and much crown love to the juggler.